Journalism is an ever-changing and developing industry. But is the end in sight? Will it soon become irrelevant? Will social media make it too hard financially for journalists to even be paid? Do we even need journalism? I'm Jack Sheeran and this is Talking Point. Before we go any further, let's just establish a few core principles and definitions about journalism. Journalism can be defined as the activity of gathering, accessing, creating and presenting news and information. The American Press Institute says the purpose of journalism is thus to provide citizens with the information they need to make the best possible decisions about their lives, their communities, their societies and their governments. But with all of this in mind, what role do journalists play within society? Here's Simon Hall, a Home Affairs correspondent for the BBC. I think we're a, a balance check and a balance on the power of those in authority, and that's the most important role. But as, aside from that, we also fulfil many, many roles in keeping people informed. We keep people up to date with how the world is going and how the world is changing, and I think that's vital. But with the ever-increasing role of technology in our lives, allowing us to keep up to date with news 24-7, does social media make journalists redundant? Well, 51% now use social media as a source of news. That's a lot of people. But now that news is so easily accessible on social media and on the internet, it now means it's easier than ever to become a journalist yourself. And this gives rise to the citizen journalist. All you need is a mobile phone and access to the internet and you can write, record, film and publish your own content online to a global audience for free. But on top of this, media organisations are faced with an even bigger issue. Money. And how to generate it. Because people aren't willing to pay for online content anymore. The Reuters Institute wrote in their most recent digital report for 2016 that most consumers are still reluctant to pay for general news online, particularly in the highly competitive English-speaking world where there is a 9% average. Most of those who have ever downloaded an ad blocker are using them regularly, suggesting that once downloaded they rarely go back. Now this leads us up to our final question about journalism as an industry. Is journalism a dying trade? On one side you could argue it is a dying trade. The independent newspaper is closed. BBC News have announced £8 million worth of cuts. The Guardian newspaper has cut its running costs by 20% and local newspapers have faced cuts and many have closed. Well, despite all these cuts and closures, it could be argued that journalism is actually thriving and has never been better. Brand new news organisations are appearing all over the place. Dot Mike, Vox News, Vice News, Buzzfeed News, Huffington Post and there's even hope for newspapers with the arrival of the New European. So instead of dying, could you say that journalism is merely changing? Here's Simon Hall again. It's not a dying trade and I don't think it'll ever be a dying trade because people want information or whether it's information about their street or their neighbourhood from the local paper or online site, or about their county from the local radio, or about their region from television, or about their country from TV and radio, or about the world. People want to know. Journalism fulfils a basic human need. There might therefore be some hope for journalism as an industry and as a profession. It might merely be changing, developing, evolving into something new that will better serve our needs within the 21st century. What do you think?